We got one. This might actually be a huge freaking fish. Oh my gosh, he's not stopping. Oh my God. Wow, look at this freaking tree, dude. What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? We are gonna be doing uh, something pretty cool. To be honest, trees, I feel like sometimes can be underrated and overlooked just like a certain species of fish. A little foreshadowing there. So today, we were over here in the parking lot of Walmart. These are Walmart trees, man. So how often is it that we go out to fish uh, local ponds or rivers, lakes, creeks, and we see some big old freaking carp in there? A lot of people see them and they're like, oh, that's cool, where's the other fish? I'm trying to catch my bass, my trout. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of time this species gets overlooked in certain fishing situations. A lot of other people see them and they want to put them belly up, send some arrows through their freaking dome. Today I am here to tell you these fish are freaking underrated. Carp can be so much fun to catch and it's fairly simple actually to catch them a lot of the time. So simple that you can come to Walmart, spend a couple dollars, and get on some fish. Big fish too. Carp? I'm telling y'all, man, if we can get on today, or I guess when we get on today, it's gonna be a fun time. First, we're gonna go in here to Walmart. I'm gonna show y'all how easy this really is. There's a bunch of different freaking ways to uh, fish for carp, actually. I have a couple videos on my channel, and there's a lot of stuff on the internet. Um, I know people in the UK, overseas, they there's it gets pretty in-depth. We're gonna try to keep it simple, though, and catch some big old fish for the Lolo. Let's get in here. Holy, everybody and their freaking auntie is at Walmart today. All right, here we go. First stop, fishing section. Just take a look at it real quick. Looks normal-ish. Again, we're gonna keep it super simple. We're just gonna try to find some hooks. Now we're gonna keep it pretty small, and I'd like to go with the circle hook. I don't know what they have here. All right, um, I guess this should be good. We're gonna go with the bait holder, size six. This is like the smallest octopus they have, which is a little bit bigger than I'd like. For the safety of the fish, uh, circle hooks are usually better, but if you're quick with the trigger, that should be good. We're gonna go with, it's $1.18, one uh, eighth ounce sinkers. Now, depending on where you're fishing, if there's tide or if there's wind, you're gonna wanna go up or down, but this should be good, hopefully for today. And it's super simple. Last thing you're gonna need is just some kind of swivel. So this is $1.36, just a little size uh, 10 barrel swivel like that. This is uh, optional. So you can use a stick, um, you could use a backpack. I'm gonna pick up, I already have one of these. I lost my other one. This is like $2.76. This is like a little baby rod holder. It's always a little good precaution to have something like this so your rod is like flying in if a freaking giant bites. So all of this together, I think this is like seven-ish uh, dollars. I saw it, dude. Look at this right here, man. Six fifty, or no, six sixty. All right, now you might be wondering. All right, you spent six bucks how are you gonna catch fish on just that? Well, if you spend like one dollar, I don't even know if it's a dollar. It might be less than that. But in the side of my door here, I always keep one of these, can of corn. And I, I spent a little bit extra for the pull tabs because I, yeah. You're good to go. So let's get over here to the water. And I just want to mention real quick too, um, this method will work for catfish if they're in the creeks, bullhead, stuff like that. But as I said, today we're especially specifically going for my long lost friend, the common carp or if there's a mirror carp or something cool too. All right, welcome. This is an area that was formerly carp city for us. This pond, uh, I don't know if it still does, I haven't been here in freaking forever, but it used to have some big old carp and a good amount of them too. So let's get set up here. Hopefully they're freaking still in there somewhere. Right here, slurp up some corn. First thing we're gonna do, get these two little things out and just shove them. We'll put one right there, one, eh. Uh, yeah, right there. As y'all can see too, we got the net out here they expected. So you know what I bring out? the This is the big net too. Something's gonna happen, right? Oh, frick. I knew I forgot something in my pliers. Every time, dude. Every time. <laughs> One of these days, we'll be fully prepared. We ready for carp. Gotta watch out for freaking snakes, dude. You guys did see a couple episodes ago. Holy crap, my life flashed before my eyes with the giant snake. All right, so as I was kind of saying, there's no one right or wrong way to do this, and especially carp fishing. There's so many different types of ways. So we have one of our rods out here. I'm gonna cut off, um, let's cut off this amount of line. Just gonna be making ourselves a little leader here. Boom. Hold that somewhere you won't lose it. If you have another leader you wanna use too, like a little heavier one, or if you have rocks or something, 
You can use that. I'm just going to use this right now. We'll see how that strat works out for us. All right, we're going to take one of these weights, go through said weight, get a swivel, and then just tie a swivel to the end of your line. So it kind of locks the weight into the line. All right, so just like that, that should be good. Can you all even see that? I just need to cut that tag in, but so this can move but it can't move past the swivel, right? Then we can take our leader and just literally tie it onto the end of the swivel, the other end that you already didn't tie onto. All right, and then on the end of that, you just tie a hook. So basically this is our rig right here. Oh, I just saw something jump out there. So we have our sliding sinker. We have this little dude right here, a little barrel swivel. And that goes down to a leader that goes down to this hook. That is a perfect. We put in our little rod holder for a second. All right, so we are ready. To go man at least one rod's ready so this is uh whole kernel no salt added corn i don't know if i've ever used no salt does salt matter i don't know i guess we'll find out here today Whoa. i'm telling you man if you're gonna do this or if you're gonna keep like corn in your car for something like this get the one with the lid dude it's so much it, it just it makes sense many of times have i uh used rocks and tried to bash it open so we're gonna pour one out for the carp gods get some juices flowing in there and uh yeah, all we're really gonna do is chum the water. Grab like a decent handful. I see some bubbling, dude. I wonder if that's some carp right there. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Um, gonna be a little bit more right there. Just kind of let these fish come over here. Tell them, you know, there's a little buffet going on. For some reason, a lot of fish like corn, but carp freaking love corn, dude. I mean, it does smell pretty good. Ooh, ooh, dude, something's waking out there. There are bass in this pond too. So this is actually a really good thing to do. Oh, what is that jumping? In like uh, the fall slash winter time, like deep fall or winter, or just when other things aren't biting. I mean, when you're bass fishing, you could just throw a rod in, you know, just let that be soaking. Especially, especially in the winter. Carp actually still feed in the winter and I've caught them in very cold weather. And uh, it's just a good time. Nobody wants to get skunked. So if you can catch a big old behemoth carp, you know, <laughs> It's pretty fun, dude. All right, this hook might still be a little bit big. We're gonna roll it. This water clarity is not super crazy or anything. So this is all we're pretty much gonna be doing, man. I put four pieces of corn on that. And basically, here's kind of what's going on. So we threw that chum out. Hopefully the carp are gonna come in here feeding in stuff. Oh, I just saw a tail one. Okay, there's carp here, dude. There's still, I, I, I thought maybe um, for some reason, I don't know if his pond would have dried up or people would have, bow fish them so i don't know but since we don't have a circle hook we're gonna try if we hook one to uh set the hook pretty quickly so that they don't a swallow it or you know b completely engulf it i guess it's the same thing all right first cast i'm gonna cast it that far out there something like that put that drag loose all right did that just get bit already? All right, so while that is waiting and chumming and sitting out there, is that the wind blowing it? Hello? I think it's just the wind. We uh, have a different rod here. This is a little bit stronger. Well, I guess a lot of bit stronger of a rod. The other one's gonna be way more sporty. Oh, dude, my leader's not even that long on this. Hmm. Oh, you guys see that? Hello? Maybe we don't even need two rods a day. Ooh, 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 it's getting messed with. Should I set it? Oh, frick, dude. Let's see if we have any corn still on there. Dude, that's gotta be carp out there. Oh, they took all the corn too. Whew. Hey, definitely make sure um, if you're doing this too, just Loosen the heck out of your drag. Even if you just use the rod holders, like they'll take it right out of the rod holders, trust. It's such a difference. This is like a medium heavy, I think, as opposed to our freaking ultralight we got on over there. See, that thing's moving. Oh, we got a fish messing with that one, hold on. Oh, what? Hello? Okay, fish on. Oh, we had a fish on. 
Probably the best carp fisherman of all time. That had to be a carp, dude. Okay, what happened? Did he break off? That was actually my fault. <laughs> when you have a super light line like this, oh, you're gonna be fighting a big fish, you wanna make sure you tie like a better knot. I was just, I had a, a clinch knot. I should have had the approved clinch knot. That's my beat. I'm gonna take the L on that one. <sighs> just gotta think positive thoughts, man. We lost that one. It, it, that was definitely a good fish too. We just gotta think, there's, there's, there's many more out there. That's a learning experience, man. Now we know, tie stronger knots. Usually I can get away with those knots, but uh, I mean, that must have been a pretty big fish, dude. All right, let's check them, see what's going on here. This one's gonna be a freaking pain in the butt if we get bit to take it out of this. It's got a big butt on it, the rod does. Oh my gosh. Keep that loose. I thought I saw it just moving. Wait, what is that? That does not feel like a carp. Wait, what the heck is this, dude? Is that a carp? I am so confused right now. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? No, my drag's super loose. I don't want. Wait, I actually have no clue what this is. I just want to see what you are, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even know that these were in here. Is this like a new thing? Dude, it's a freaking catfish. What the heck? He wasn't even pulling anything. Okay, so this is exactly what I was talking about. We're not going to try to get spined by you, my good sir. Oh, he actually did swallow it. Good thing it's a tiny er hook, tiny er ish. All right, uh, well, <laughs> first fish of the day. Not exactly what we were going for, but I mean, I'm down to catch anything. So that, I think, let's see, it's not a channel. Is that a bullhead or is that a, it's not a flathead, right? Guys, what kind of freaking catfish is this? I have no clue. Please let me know down in the comments below. For some reason, I want to say it is a flathead, but then I, I don't, I'm not supposed to release it if it's a flathead, but I think it's a bullhead. I'm so confused. Anyway, let's let that dude, I guess, back in there. Very interesting. I did not know that there were catfish. Every time I've come carp fishing here, there has never been one of these dudes to hit my line. That is a first. All right. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying, dude. If you come out here with corn, you go anywhere with corn, you know, there's a potential to catch really anything. I mean, panfish to freaking catfish to carp to freaking, uh, I mean, I've seen people catch bass on corn. I'm sure a lot of different, I mean, yeah. Corn is good. We like corn, they like corn. Everybody loves corn. I knew by the way it was fighting. I was like, I, I did not expect that. <laughs> Whew, I saw it, it wasn't a carp bite either because it was just getting kind of messed with and it kind of was holding on that corn. I, that's just weird. All right, well, first fish of the day. Lost another hook. It was like buried in that dude. I feel bad about that, but should be good. All right, if you chum, they will come. Chum and get it. All right, I'm gonna check this other rod, see if we still have any freaking thing on there. We got catfish on you? No. <laughs> Don't even feel any corn on that. Nope. Let me know, for those of y'all who uh, do this kind of fishing, how long do you normally wait till you check your hook to see if your bait's still on? It's like a common problem when you're, oh, Waiting and waiting. Um, this rod to my left just got smacked, but now it's like not. Oh yeah, no, is that another catfish or something? Hello? Get out of the rod holder. What's good, my guy? Did I spook you? All right, this is the cast right here, watch. Yeah, 20 pound carp, book it. This is like literally like such a nice day. I'm having so much fun out here. Thank y'all for coming on this adventure with me today. Whew. It's freaking beautiful. For some reason, I mean, it's like pretty late-ish fall here. It's just been like so warm. 
Like I'm wearing a shorts and t-shirt, dude. It's like amazing. So I thought maybe these carp would be a little more active, or I guess the catfish, or I don't, I don't, I don't know. Hello? Is anybody home? I'm getting nibbled. Oh, dude, he took me down. What was that? Is that the 20 pound carp? He might have eaten all that freaking corn, dude. Now oh, he still has some pieces on, dang it. See, that's kind of the thing about the circle hook too, is that uh, if we would have had one of those on, oh, it's one of the left's getting bit now. Circle hook kind of uh, sets itself. Like as a fish runs away, it kind of just sets in the corner of his mouth. I think I got one. We got one. Oh, we got one. I wanna keep that drag pretty loose. Super light line, dude. Let's go, dude. Whoa! Oh my gosh, dude, this is a good fish. Ultralight four pound test. Oh, he's just taking it. He's working us. This might actually be a huge freaking fish. Oh my gosh, he's not stopping. Wait a second. How big is this freaking fish, dude? Oh my God. Now there's a stick out that way. I really hope he doesn't go over there. Oh, he's running at me. He's running at me right now. Oh my God, he's freaking out. Oh no, don't go towards the stick. Not the stick. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a big fish. I know you're not supposed to, there's always people in the comments saying, oh God, dude, there's always people in the comments saying, don't reel while he's pulling a drag, but, oh no, he's going into, the, no, 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 get out of that. Oh my God, we gotta tighten up. Oh my God. <gasps> if we get this in, it's gonna be so sick. Oh, dude, this is a big fish. Oh my gosh. It's going all the way to the right now. I just hope he doesn't go into my other line over there. Oh my God. Okay, he's thinking about it actually. No, don't go that way. Oh no, don't go into that line. Did he go into it? He went over it. All right, he's coming in this little cove over here. I gotta get the net ready. It doesn't look like he's gonna be chilled out anytime soon though. Oh my God, this might be the biggest carp I ever caught. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big carp. That is a big carp. It's not like, absolute state record okay um come over here come here come here come here come here, come here. No, no 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 we're friends we don't we don't gotta do all that oh big freaking carp out there just surfaced and splashed dude they're they're alive right now <sighs> all right net's right there oh my gosh <laughs> this is why i say these fish are underrated dude look at this fight I mean, yeah, it's an ultralight rod, but... Oh, man. This is so much fun. Such a cool fish. So underrated. All right, he's he's here. Now he's not. Try to take care of this guy as best as we can. Oh, I touched him. Does that count? Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is a good carp. All right, we're gonna keep him right there in the water, in the net. I'm gonna try to take this hook out super quick. Um, where's my pliers? Oh no, he's out of the net. Oh gosh, professional fisherman. I mean, I guess it counts already, right? I netted him, kinda. Okay, I want to give you guys a good look. <sighs> All right, y'all, uh, look at this freaking carp right here. So here is my hand. That thing is super, Big. We're gonna get him in the water for a sec. <sighs> Let him rejuvenate for a second. He had a tough fight. I mean, I had a tough fight. If I had a stronger rod and a line, would I have horsed him in a little bit better? Yeah. Was that like freaking so much fun? <laughs> yeah. Dude. 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 Let me give you guys a quick look. Wet my hands and everything. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh, chill, chill, chill. We're, we're friends, bud. Oh, gosh. Dude, that is a beautiful common carp right there. Oh, 
My gosh, I mean, it's definitely not the biggest one I've ever caught. It felt like it on that freaking rod. That's a beauty right there, man. How do people do the fish trick to make it look so big with their hands? I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick pick, I'm gonna get him back. Look at that tail, dude. These fish are so fun, so underrated. And if you think about it, it's so cheap to catch. Look at that fish. Ah! Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, man. And then what's crazy is that there's bigger ones in here. Oh, man. Let's get rigged up. Try to catch. Whew. An even bigger one. I'm out of breath. I need some water. I'm slimy. I'm muddy. But I would not want it any other way. All right, let's get this one back out there. This will actually be pretty cool to see. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, what is the biggest carp you guys ever caught? Or catfish, I'd be interested to see that too. My leader's a little short on this. Oh, I don't even want it over this, casting it back. I know some people though that catch carp that are like freaking giant, giant. So maybe I'll have to do that on the channel. Go out to a river or something that could possibly have 30, 40 pounders. Imagine, dude. Imagine with the freaking ultralight, too. No, we'd probably have to upgrade a little bit in strength. Oh, okay. I don't know. This one's just been chilling here, not doing nothing. As I was saying earlier, too, so there's like so many different ways to fish for carp. Some are super detailed and uh, very, I, it's kind of like an art form, to be honest. People use these like beeper things and they get these whole setups and they make their own baits and stuff. It's pretty freaking cool. I'd like to get into that at some point. Maybe go overseas, do a little like UK carp trip. I do apologize too. Like, let me know. I could handle that fish probably. The only way I can think of a little bit better is if uh, I had a landing mat, which people use. But people don't use landing mats for a bunch of other different fish. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess like the proper thing, especially in England to do is to use a landing mat just so the fish isn't on grass and stuff, which I try to keep it in the net, but I don't know. All right, we're in business. Okay, that just moved. Y'all saw that? We might have another one. This is how the other one started. So they kind of hit it and they keep it in their mouth because they don't know they're hooked yet. Once they know that they're hooked and they feel it, that's when it starts getting crazy. Oh, he's on. We got one. Ready? Wait, what is that? That's not a carp. Or is that just, wait. <laughs> is it? What is this? This put up a fight, dude. Dang, fighter, dude. All right. <laughs> well, second one of the day. Kind of looks like the first one. You would have thought, oh boy, would have learned his lesson. It's gotta be a different one. Right in the tip of the mouth there. Come on, dude, that corn. I mean, I enjoy catching you, but it's not for you. It's, it's carp corn. All right, so uh, there we go. Second caddy of the day. He's croaking at us. Thank you, buddy. Huh. Y'all know what's crazy? Is that how, how freaking fast time flies, man? Uh, while you're fishing, but also just like in general, like, yeah, I feel like it was just 2020 and now I, I just, it's crazy. I just gotta thank you um, for all the support on my channel over the years. Uh, we started this pretty much in March of 2017 and uh, just to be in the position that I'm in, I mean there's ups and downs on YouTube and I don't know, just thank you guys for taking the time to watch the videos. I just, I just love being out here. As always man, I mean just getting out here, enjoying the outdoors, making time for what you like doing and uh, just trusting the adventure. I always think of just, you know, how fortunate I am. Hello? Sounds like some freaking giants running at me. But yeah, it means a lot that y'all watch these videos and I have some really cool stuff on the way. Just stay tuned. We're not ending the video yet though. We're gonna catch a monster. I just wanna show you guys real quick. Look at the foliage. If you could see. Look at this. This is like gorgeous, man. These freaking colors, dude. Wokey, I am colorblind, or I guess high key, but it's so cool. Especially with these clouds today too. Look at the clouds and the reflection on the water and stuff. This is freaking nice. Oh, did I get that on camera? 
Did you guys see that? All the way out there, a carp just freaking breached like free willy. Oh, dude, just did it again. What the heck? They do that when they're mating, right? But why would that guy do it? Watch how I have them like hooked or something. That was cool. Bro, okay, this is freaking crazy. So a little bit earlier, I had just chummed a ton of corn. Oh, there's one right there. There's one literally right there. If I bring this back here, I guess they must have eaten all the corn that I chummed originally. If I drop that corn right there, I mean, you guys, I don't know if you know if you can see it. It's like cloudy and crap right here. Oh my gosh, there's a carp right there. I see him. Let's see if we literally just put that right there, if we'll take it. Like, I could reach out and freaking touch this carp, maybe. If I was like Elastigirl. <laughs> it's not that far though, it's like a couple feet away from me. A lot of the times, that's what you'll see um, when these carp are down there feeding and stuff. If you ever want to like find them or know if there's carp around. If you see like a cloudied up bottom, and uh, if you see like bubbles that come to like the surface of the water, stuff like that, that's all signs of carp and carp feeding and stuff. I'm gonna put some new corn on. I don't want it to be right at my feet. I, I think I'm gonna cast it uh, or throw a few more kernels out that way. Something was eating that. Right after the chum. Oh. Oh wait, something small. Hold on. Tighten that up. I'm gonna spook all the carp, dude. What is this? Oh my gosh, third species of the day. It was behind a freaking leaf. This is what I'm talking about, dude. So many different freaking kinds of fish will eat the corn. And the buffet is back, man. It's a bluegill buffet. That's a bluegill, right? Chill, buddy. That's interesting. That was the first one of those that hit today. Um, let me take a look. As always, a fish is a fish. I mean, at this point, this is just fun, dude. Um, it looks just like a bluegill, but it's got a lot of, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Freaking beautiful. Thank you for biting, buddy. He kind of like took it and ran with it too. Kind of like a carp would. Okay, I got a fish on this one. Oh boy. Oh, what the heck is that? No. Oh, Franklin, what are you doing, my guy? Oh my goodness. Is that a baby snapping turtle? All right, that probably is not the way to hold him, right? Look at that. The frick, dude. Okay, we're good. He probably does not like me. No, the other way. Go the other way. Hey, he's just chilling with me now. <laughs> okay. That actually is an unexpected catch. What the frick, dude? Now he's like, he really buried himself in the reeds. I think he's just chilling down here. What is going on today, dude? Just the fun about fish, man. You never know what's gonna happen. You wanna know just where?